Do you remember that ice cream jingle? Of course, we all know it. I'm not gonna play it right now, though, because we come to find out that it has racist roots. I heard through the, in the internet, it was a little story going around, but I didn't know how deep it was rooted in the history of Turkey and the straw. And when I heard it, it was like, yo, we gotta do something. I said, like, yo, what? Well, what could, what could, you know, what can we have? So we, well, would you be interested in writing a new one? I thought of Joy, right? I just kind of like, I would say, kept repeating in my mind, it's good for me, it's good for you, then it's good for us. If you, you know, if you're trying to check my recent things I've been doing, you know, I've been strictly pushing positivity, bro. That's just where I'm at. I, I've evolved, evolved as a man uh, to understand, like, the weight of positive outweighs negative almost 10 to one. And I'm pushing positivity. And I think they, you know, saw it, heard about me, know about it, you know. I thought about the historical context of replacing a negative with a positive. I definitely thought of that. The longevity of it, I guess it, was, it wasn't on the top of my mind, but I did. When I completed, I told you know I told them they could they could they could do what they want with it. <laughs> they could have it forever. It's like it's up to them. So the beauty of it is that I mean if that is the case. All I can say is that all praises do because I'm a kid that chased ice cream trucks. And I can assure you that this one is made with love. Peace. The new ice cream is represented. <laughs>